All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan it dan dan it dan it dan. Dean Bodie Show. Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy Sunday and uh, happy football day. Hope your team's doing well. The Dolphins came up short today. What can I tell you? But they put up some points against one of the best teams in the league. So hey, we're gonna take it and keep moving forward. All right. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. It's a Bodie hotline, fun line. The Bodie, call the Bodie line. Hey, that's what we do over here. Say something nice to Bodie. Do a little sing-along, little zippity doo dah Say something nice. Hey, say with your first name, where you're from. We'll make it a feature on the show. Do a little riddle, a little short story. Um, something that's going on in your life you want us to bounce off of, we could take it down crazy land and uh, do our thing with it. How's that sound? Oh, yeah. DeanBody.com, the website. We got the links on there. One will get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And the other link will get you over to the social YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show YouTube channel. So listen, today... And all kinds of stuff going on here. Number one, it's cold. We're down to about 30 degrees. Raining kind of all day. Cold, out in the rain. And Bodie and I are doing our thing anyway. Nothing stops Dean Bodie. And when she's got to go, she's got to go. Bodie actually loves the cold weather. And I don't really mind it. (laughs) But Bodie is from, you know, the Shiba Inu from the wintry mountains of Japan. It's in that 2,000 years of DNA. She'll take the cold all day long. So anyway, things are cool. Amazon with the Whole Foods today. Do us a big favor. Hey, Whole Foods, don't let them bring the brown lettuce. Hey, for someone who likes to eat salad and things like that, it's not a delicacy. The brown lettuce is not a delicacy. If you see the brown lettuce inside the bag, put it back on the shelf. Give it back to the people in the back so they can return it or whatever, recycle what they do with the brown lettuce. They put it through the brown lettuce factory and maybe turn it into green lettuce again for all we know. All I know is don't bring it over to the house because I'm not going to eat it. Anyway, so much for the brown lettuce. So keto coffee, the flavor can't be beat. Keto coffee, the biohacking treat. Yeah, keto coffee, the flavor can't be beat. Keto coffee, the Dallas, Texas treat. Yeah, keto coffee, the flavor can't be beat. Keto coffee, so gout can't get my feet. All right, so we're getting into it, man. We're doing the keto coffee in the morning. And listen, this is not and your big breakfast. This is... That's the breakfast, okay? So figure out when you're going to do it. You want to have it for a lunch. You want to whatever. It's a meal with all those fats and stuff in it. And uh, we're learning as we go. Hey, it's cool. I tested my uh, my ketones today. We're in the uh, uh, ketosis zone with the blood. We got the uh, the breath meter today. and We checked that out. And it said I'm in advanced ketosis. I don't know. It's a different kind of scorecard there with the breath and different levels. You got advanced, super duper, and crazy keto, I think it says. I don't know, but it's a little different. Um, But we're having fun with the whole project, and I'm just trying to get down the road. I'm basically resetting my body and doing the biohack. No counting calories. Yeah, the calories are important, but not as important as the hormones, okay? Listen, your body is a chemistry lab, not a bank account. So that's what we're trying to do. Tap into the body chemistry and get it functioning at its optimum and see if we can get to a different place. For me personally, I've tried all kinds of different things um, with workouts and my whole life with the whole kind of bodybuilding mindset, um, that kind of gym rat zone. Every two and a half hours, you're, you're putting food in your mouth and You know, that's what I'm kind of used to. So this is a whole different thing. Maybe a couple meals a day um, and you got these fats are way up and the protein is is moderate and the carbs are real low. And, you know, 
I'm just letting you know what I'm going through, and we're going to try it. You know, through personal experiences, this is how you know, not by what somebody told you, not by that because uh, Mary down the street didn't feel well on on one cup of keto coffee, so you're going to, oh, well, I'm not going to. Hey, listen, you do what you do, and I'll figure out my thing and do what works for you. And, you know, the bottom line is getting healthier and uh, getting your brain and your nervous system functioning better and your whole system as a whole functioning better. That's the ticket. All right. So listen, it's kind of crazy what's going on over here. Light bulb extravaganza today. Light bulb. Oh, man. You know, I got different kinds of light bulbs around the house, number one. I love these stained glass light bulbs. I got them in all my lamps and the hallway lights. I like, and in my bedroom lamps too, in the nightstands. Dim lighting that's kind of ambient is totally the way I like it. Uh, I don't need this super bright light all the time like I'm five feet from the sun. You know, it's just not my thing. I like it comfortable and warm. You know, like you're at a restaurant at a nice steakhouse and you got plenty of daylight during the day coming through the windows. And when things start to come down, I like things calm. To me, it's easier on the eyes. You know, we're looking at our iPhones a lot and the computer and all that stuff. So you can have some more calm lighting. And I like these... um uh, what do you call these stained glass lights because they got different colors and they're cool. And if you come over to the YouTube channel, those of you that are on the podcast listening, you can see the kind of lighting I'm talking about. And um, we're not sure how the lighting is going to come out on the video once again. Uh, it's funny because I had that thing going on uh, the day before yesterday. I had to figure out this, my sound effects that I was using with my other phone. I had it positioned um, by the camera. But the funny thing is, the apps on the phone were shining back to my glasses. So creating all kinds of little pictures in my eyeglasses with the glare, I didn't know what was going on. So I moved it to yesterday's video over to the right over here. I got one of these portable chargers. Oh, by the way, the portable chargers, the one that you can stand the phone up, it leans up against it and charges wireless. And then next to it, you got your AirPod. You set that down, charges that too. Two in one. They even have that one that's got three stations where you can take your Apple Watch and put it over the top and it's charging three things. I don't do the Apple Watch personally because it's just too small. The bigger, the better. The easier for me to see and read is better. Less strain on the eyes. Easier, bigger, better. For me personally, that's the way I like it. So anyway, I moved the um, the sound effect phone over to the charger to the right. And then I realized on yesterday's video, I'm getting a kick out of myself with this because I like the rough edges and figuring this out. I like taking you on the journey with me. Hey, we're not about all this perfection. And you hear the people on the YouTube, oh, they're not going to pay attention to your content because you're not going to be in. They're going to have that thing in your glasses and it's not going to be, hey, listen, you know, that's not why they pay attention. They can hear it or most of the time they're not even looking. It's kind of like, They're lying down listening to it anyway, so I don't know. One day I'll get the lighting super dialed in, and it's going to be too perfect, and then you'll be like, oh, I liked it better before with the rough edges. That's how we do it here, Dean Bodie. So the phone was on the right side, shining the apps to the right, so the right glasses on the right side lens was a little bit brighter, and the left one was darker. Okay, so I look like a pirate. In the last video, and um, we're just trying out different things. So this time, forget the sound effect phone altogether, and we're just going to see how it goes. And, you know, we do the best we can over here. Let's see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie. We don't want to shortchange anybody, Dean Bodie show. So let's see what's up. zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh, my, what a glorious day. It's freezing outside, oh, yeah, today. zippity doo da, zippity a. Yada, be da, ba, da, ba, da. Yeah, we talked about the brown lettuce, and we talk about the light bulbs. 
almost finished the light bulb story. And the relief factor that I told you I tried a few episodes back about the pain and these guys, I was in so much pain. I was going for whatever I could to get the inflammation down and it didn't put a dent. But my point is they give you like a, we got to watch because they try to get you on this subscription every month to keep it coming. So right away in the beginning, I canceled the subscription right away so it would not come. And I got the response back, um, your, your subscription has been canceled, uh, sorry to see you go, whatever, confirmation. So what happens today, I see? Your shipment is on its way. They're going to be sending me another bag of this stuff, and I don't want it. So I went in there again today, canceled it again. And I'm going to have to call customer service tomorrow. Look at the little hustle they're working here. Oh, they got the celebrities on the commercial and all this fun stuff they're doing. And everybody's going to be celebrating Christmas pain-free because of Relief Factor. And you can't cancel the membership because we just want to keep sending it to you anyway. Oh, yeah? Well, I canceled it again and I'm going to call you tomorrow. So I guess we're just ignoring people when they cancel their, their uh, the membership. Looking the other way. This is where I'm going to call tomorrow. They're going to be like, oh, wow. Sorry that happened, Mr. Uh, I didn't realize. And uh, we'll get that fixed for you right away. And wow, we've been having, um, I don't know, no one else had that problem. So we're, <laughs> I could just hear the whole zippity doo da before I even call tomorrow. This should be interesting. In the pandemic, schmandemic, COVID schmovid. So... The world we live in, you got to watch the relief factor who's working the hustle big time. So back to the light bulbs real quick. Other than the ambient lighting and all, the one over the stove blew out today. I did not have a backup. Unbelievable. That's not like me. Usually I have too many backups. And this is the one little light bulb. 120 volt, 7.5 watts. It's a, it's a dim one that goes right over the stove that goes along with the rest of the lighting. It's the perfect little light with not too bright, you know, and it's just nice like that. If I need a real bright light, I flip on the main switch on the kitchen and it's kind of like uh, I got the spaceship over me shining the light down and it's kind of uncomfortable, but it's only there if I really need it, man. I hardly use that thing. So I had to go Amazon. We had to order the 75 I found it, but it's one of these little light bulbs that it didn't even have the uh, the kind of wattage on the light bulb itself. Usually you look on the top of the bulb and it's got what it is. Not on this little guy. I had to get the magnifying glass out, look on the metal part, and find the whole thing like, thank God it was on there. So I got those coming. I got some more of these stained glass ones because the, uh, the one by the front door blew out the other day and I had one backup left. And you got to keep an eye on that stuff, man, because running out now, the lighting's all out of whack now. Now the one over the stove, I put the one that I had from before way too bright and I have it shut off right now. I don't even want to. It's just too bright. It's not, it's not going with the flow. You follow me? I am having a good time. The thing that got in the room that shines the stars up to the ceiling. I'm sure you've seen that advertising on the Facebook or whatever. Very cool. It shines up on the ceiling. It's got this kind of cloud effect along with the stars. I got to tell you, man, you can change the colors and all that. I do like the blue clouds and the stars are kind of green light. But it's got red and white and it's got a green tone one and it's got... It's pretty wild, and uh, lying back with the lights off and that on, I got to tell you, it's kind of meditative, man. It's pretty cool. I'm recommending it. (laughs) I am. It is. It gives you a different vibe, and uh, Bodhi goes in there, and she chills underneath the stars sometimes by herself, and uh, when I'm over here doing something else uh, on the other side of the house, and I get a kick out of that, too, and we're doing our thing over here, man. And, uh, you know, so keto coffee, the flavor can't be beat. Keto coffee, the biohacking treat. Yeah, keto coffee, that flavor can't be beat. Keto coffee, so gout can't get my feet. All right. (laughs) Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. 
I hope your football team pulled it out. We almost had it. And like I said, the Chiefs are like one of the top teams in the league. We can get that many points against them. You know, we were like one touchdown away. Mahomes is a beast. He's tough, man. So we're going to keep moving forward. Hopefully we get through the playoffs and we have an opportunity. We have a chance this year and we're going to be going for it. And that's the way it goes. So have an awesome rest of your day. Happy Sunday to you. And uh, we're going to figure out what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Who knows? Maybe a bunch of Brussels sprouts with a small piece of skirt steak or some salmon and maybe some cauliflower rice. And uh, that's uh, how we're doing it now. <laughs> and, you know, the one thing about I am thinking about is pizza a lot, but I got to dial this cauliflower crust pizza. I have not tried one of those yet, but I'm going to do it. And that's what I, something I got to get dialed in. And stay tuned for that, and we'll go for it. We're still making our electrolyte drink, our healthy lemonade, as we call it, and uh, having a lot of fun trying to go down a new road to get myself healthier. And I wish you all the health in the world. So listen, she's the good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world, yeah, the good girl, Bodie, yeah, the best girl in the world, oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698. Hey, call anytime. We're waiting for you. We'll make it a feature on the show. Anything you want to talk about, we're here. And uh, we're coming at you daily here, Dean Bodie, because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. Click the like button. Ring that notification bell so you get all these shows. You don't want to miss these shows because these are real shows. And uh, if you like what's going on over here, consider subscribing. If you like what's going on on the podcast... Um, you want to leave a nice uh, review and a five-star rating would be awesome, given that algorithm a shot in the you-know-where. And as we're coming to our next level of uh, achievement award with Buzzsprout, my hosting site, I think we're uh, – I had it off the other day, but I think we got it at another 20, and we'll hit 5,500 downloads. And then we're getting close to 200 episodes, and I don't know. I think uh, we're moving forward. That's what's going on. Creeping up the mountain the best that we can. And um, that's what we're going to do. Bodie, you're the greatest. Have an awesome rest of your day. Let's make it a great week this week. Don't get all stressed out about this pandemic, shmandemic, COVID, shmovid. Control what you can. Don't stress out about what you can't. And keep moving forward. And we'll make, uh, you know tomorrow a little bit better than today and that's all we can hope for and uh you know be nice to people around you and you know i don't know we're not giving out a lot of hugs these days or handshakes for that matter because of the ooh, look out but i mean you know um wave hi to a neighbor i don't know do your thing and treat some other people like you'd want to be treated and just start putting that positive energy into the universe and you know that's kind of got that butterfly effect that does that little ripple effect across the world and you'd be surprised on how it does affect things and that being said have a great day have a good rest of your night deanbody.com